Okay, so you started using a Jira software, classic Jira software project, and uh, you're happy with uh, what all you can do in your project, like uh, working with the backlog, creating sprints, estimating issues, ranking them. But what if you want to use your own uh, issue type and you also want to estimate let us say based on story points on that particular uh, issue type. Now, I received this question on the community today where Roderick is asking about how do I get story points to show in the backlog on a custom issue. Now, he must have had added uh, this new issue type where there is a new issue. There is, a, there, there is a new issue called test2. But when you are looking at the backlog, you may want to estimate on that particular new issue of a new issue type. Right now, there is no there is no way to do it. I mean, this particular field is not really visible, story point. We are talking about story points here. So let us see how we can do that. It is not very complicated, but uh, it can be a bit uh, tricky for new Jira users. So I have a similar situation here. This is my board, my backlog view, and I have one new issue type that I just added called improvement. Now, if you look here, the I do have the option here to, for of course other issue types, I do have the option here to estimate. I can estimate it, estimate my my issue to be four story points, maybe three or two, whatever you want. And this will be reflected here. But when I want to do the same thing for improvement, which is a new issue type, which I just added, I don't have any option here to add estimation. Now, fixing this is not very difficult. We need to go to the custom fields. And uh, let, let me just uh, do that. So if you go to the custom fields, let me just quickly type in here custom fields and uh, show you how we can uh, fix it. So let me search for the story point custom field, which is I know this is the one story points. And there is something called as context. So this is this is all about setting the context, which by default may not be set up for the new issue type. So you can go to the context and uh, default value. And uh, you will be presented with uh, the configuration scheme. So in this particular case, I have two configuration schemes, one for a project called default or called Scrum. But there is also one more configuration scheme which is applicable on all the projects. Now, the important part here is to make sure that the issue types are selected. Uh, the right issue types are selected here. So let us click on the, the cog here. And uh, if you want to select or include one more issue type, you can basically modify this issue types uh, combo select list, I believe. And uh, when you select a new issue type, just be careful because uh, you need to press control or command key so that you don't really remove the existing listing. So just look for the new feature, which is something that I want to include in my configuration. So I'll press command and I press and I select new feature. And right now the global context is uh, something that, that we don't really want to change and we'll modify it. So this is pretty much it. And if you now go back to the project, and if you ref and if you refresh it, you can hopefully see this new field that you can start using in your uh, board. So I think I did it for the wrong issue type. It was it is improvement, so not really new feature. So let us do it again. So mistakes can happen. Okay, so we have to do it for improvement. So let us search for improvement in the listing. So improvement is selected, 
modify go back refresh and uh, let us see so now we have this new story points field also not a new field but this story point field also applicable for my improvement issue type so i can uh, estimate so you can see the number here i can also add it to the epic so right now let us say you want to add it to ios epic 2 where based on the current issues the total estimation is nine story points if i add if i add three more it will become 12 so now you can use this uh, this configuration to use story points in your own custom issue types that you may want to use in your projects your classic jira software projects so this is all i wanted to share in this video i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today thank you very much